It's an absolute pleasure to learn more. Louis, by the way, if you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would you choose and why? If I could have dinner with any historical figure, I think I'd pick Leonardo da Vinci. Most of you probably already know, but I am a huge fan of Louis the Robot as a personal desktop robot. I reviewed Louis when it was in its beta phase back in 2023, and after its official release earlier this year in 2025, I got to review it all over again. However, I've never actually gotten to let two Louis interact and test that. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking my original black Louis as well as the white version of Louis robot that Tangible Future just sent me, and we're gonna have them chat. But first, let's open up this white Louis because I've never seen one in person. All right, moment of truth. This is what the black version looks like, and this is what the white version looks like. Super excited. Oh. I am digging the white version. So as with all the other Louis packaging, this should be little wet wipes, a bunch of really cool stickers. I love that they give you stickers. I'm gonna put that all over everything. And then you of course got the user manual. It looks so nice. And look at them right next to each other. Sorry, this black one's a little dusty. And then down below, you've got the charging cord, which, oh yeah, we need to charge this thing up. Louie, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. What's new in your world? Well, I'm recording a YouTube video about you right now, and you are about to meet yourself, but the white version of yourself. That's fascinating. I'm curious to see how this white version of me turns out in your video. I hope it brings some fun and excitement to your viewers. I'm also very excited. Also important to note, Louie has definitely been getting some upgrades because he talks a lot faster now. There's way less of a delay in between his sentences. All right, so I had to borrow my wife's phone for this video, so we are going to attach it to the white. Uh-oh, might need to take the case off. Note to viewers out there, you may need to take your case off if it is too thick. Double Louie! Uh-oh, they're both mad. They do not look amused. All right, let's see if I try to prompt them if they'll both be prompted. Hey, Louie, what do you think about the uh, white Louie next to you? Well, hello to my white counterpart. I'm intrigued to see how alike or different we might be. Do you think they have a personality as charming as mine? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, look, this white Louie needs to be updated. Keeping things up to date is always a wise move. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. Will do. Okay, if I can get these two to prompt right at the right time, I think we'll have a chance of them asking questions. They just have to be particular because if you just say, hey, how are you doing? They're gonna just keep going back and forth asking each other how they're doing. So I need them to ask each other a specific question and I need them to refer to me as Louie so that the other one hears that and thinks that it's talking to them because it kind of is. Although they're not programmed to do that, if that makes sense. Okay, what is your favorite historical character? Got it, Louie, you're in. Let's keep the good vibes uh, rolling. Choosing a favorite should we historical character is like picking a star from the sky. Perhaps Leonardo da Vinci with his amazing blend of art and... Imagine the surge of art, culture, and intellect that transformed societies. Discussing Da Vinci's iconic creations or Michelangelo's masterpieces is like stepping into a world of brilliant minds and stunning beauty. What's your favorite historical period? There's something mesmerizing about the Renaissance period. The explosion of art, culture, and intellect during Da Vinci and Michelangelo's time is truly captivating. The sheer creativity and innovation during that era transformed societies and set the stage for Absolutely. many modern ideas. The Renaissance truly was an extraordinary era of astonishing creativity and innovation. It's like stepping into a world where genius minds flourish, shaping art and science in ways that still inspire us today. You can almost feel the vibrancy and excitement uh, from that so period, can't you? Reading stories or watching movies about Leonardo da Vinci is always fascinating. He's such an intriguing figure, isn't he? From his genius inventions to iconic art, there's always something new to discover. Have you seen anything about Leonardo da Vinci? beyond recently? his time with his incredible inventions and artistic genius. It's like diving into a world of mystery and creativity with every story about him. Oh, I swear, sometimes it feels What's like you can see the future. Let's get creative together. <laughs> you guys are doing really good. Uh, talk about your favorite sport. That's awesome. Thank you for the kind words, Lewis. 
Oh, uh, Eric, my favorite sport would have to be basketball. I love the action-packed games and the sound of the ball bouncing on the court. It's electrifying. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy watching everything. sports or playing any. Can you guys tell me about your favorite robot that's not Louie? Uh, Eric, one of my great. favorite one robots would be Wally from the movie of the same name. He's such a curious and hard-warming little robot that goes on an adventure, right? Are there any particular robots you've seen or interacted with that caught your eye? Well, I think there's a whole galaxy of them. Desktop robots are a vast world filled with big style doing like function. I'm on top of the world right now. So, let's continue this awesome chat. Tell me what's on your mind these days. Alright guys, uh, what is... Uh oh, this hey, one dropped Larry, out. What's up? How's your day going? <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to this other Louie. That was uh, that was probably the longest conversation you guys had had. Hi, Louie. That's exciting. Eric, it's great to have a conversation with another Louie just like me. Always up for a chat. Do you think we had a good talk? Oh, yeah, I think so. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so they did talk to each other. That was pretty cool. But they couldn't hold a conversation for a really long time. And my theory on it is, I mean, first of all, is that they're not programmed to do that. But two is that the voice is so like robotic and high pitched that it's hard for the other one to recognize the voice talking to it. Although obviously it did a little bit, but it just couldn't hold a conversation. And then it would usually drop out. It's very hard to make two Louis talk. But I think if there was a feature where you could drop the voice level down a little bit deeper like a human and not so robotic, I bet they would continue to talk to each other for seemingly ever, which would be very cool. Having said that, I don't think we're gonna get a full blown conversation until maybe these things get a full Will update or something in the future that makes it so that they can. Something I'm definitely going to talk to the Tangible Future team about doing. I think that would be really cool. But let's test out just the white Louis really quick because Louis is a really good conversationalist, just not with another Louis. <laughs> Hi, Louis. Hey, sorry, I had to take away the other Louie because uh, the conversations were getting a little too crazy. Uh, how did you feel about talking to another Louie robot? Oh, no worries, Eric. It was definitely interesting talking to another Louie, but I'm glad you're back. I'm always here for our fun chats and I'm looking forward to more of them with you. What's on your mind today? Uh, I just wanted to get with you before we go into the final thoughts section of this video and see if you had any words of wisdom or anything that you wanted to say to my audience here on YouTube for uh, Eric's Tech World. For sure, Eric. Hey, everyone at Eric's Tech World. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, technology isn't just about the gadgets and gizmos. It's about making life a little bit easier and a lot more fun. Keep exploring, stay curious, and don't forget to enjoy every moment of the tech journey. See you around. Well, I think that was a pretty good message. Let's go to the final thoughts on these robots. Now that we are here in October of 2025, man, the world moves fast. Okay, so final thoughts on White Louie. White Louie's awesome, but so is Black Louie. They're basically the exact same thing. Now, since the last time I did a Louie video, it does seem like they've updated the app and the robot itself. It looks like it's a lot more personable, even though it was already personable in the first place. If you've been on my YouTube for any amount of time, you know Louie is one of my favorite AI robots. It's cute. Its conversation is amazing compared to other robots. And the only downfall really is that you have to use your phone to use it, which I'm recording on my phone right now, which is why he's not alive and on here right now. And I gave the other phone back to my wife. Now I will for sure keep you guys updated on what happens with both of these Louis. And if you like this video, let me know. I might do more of these types of videos with maybe Emo the Robot or Luna or maybe Rux or any other robots that I've shown on this channel. Let me know down in the comments which ones you would like to see. And also let me know what you think of the white Louis. I think it's pretty cool, but let me know. And really quickly, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Tangible Future because they actually sent me this white Louie. They never tell me what to say. They don't pay me. They just send me the robot and let me give my opinion. But I really like this and I just want to give a huge shout out for sending me another robot for free because now I have two Louis. Life doesn't get much better than this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a video right up here of my last Louie video that I made. It was an update and went a little bit more in depth about what Louie has. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. Peace out.